Well, uh, ready or not, <laughs> ready or not, we're live. Uh, yeah, we're live. I believe again. Who knows? We'll find out. Last week, uh, cameras rolling. Yeah, we got a couple cameras rolling. Uh, last week, we um, what is that? The one here is there now. No, no well, I, we're gonna do that one. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm using that one for this. We're gotcha. gonna explain all of this to you guys <laughs> at some point. Okay, you'll get it. Um, we're trying something different today. So before we explain, what we're gonna try. Welcome to the show. Dan Savage, Doodoo, welcome to the Doodoo and Foo Show, co-host with... Mike Crisofoli Foo. How about that? We're back for week 13, lucky number 13, uh, three short of... No, wait, how many of the Celtics have now? 16 or 18? 18. 18. 18. Oh, we're five weeks short. we got another month to go Celtics to catch them. championship. <laughs> Holy smokes, they must be good. Um, yeah, welcome to the show. It is June 20th, right around the 4 o'clock hour, just past 4 o'clock here on the West Coast in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, a lot of Celtics today. Yeah, that's because fine. Because I earned it. Of course. It. You I earned it. Congratulations, I earned it. buddy. <laughs> Those guys didn't do anything. You it did was, so it much was, for It them. was Trent, Julie, yeah. myself, Brooklyn. We were cheering. It's, yeah, oh, I mean, absolutely. They, you can't do it without the fans is that's what right. I heard. That's right. So thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's all me. Got some Celtics stuff. We got some other random stuff. And we're going to attempt some call-ins today okay it's gonna be reverse call-ins though it's a couple people that i'm gonna call them <laughs> but i think okay. more than anything we're just checking to see if um if we have the technology set up to um yeah to take call-ins and then at some point uh we'll flip it around and have them call in during the show but it's a big step for the show yeah absolutely call-ins holy smoke so we got some fun ones <laughs> coming up um but before we get into the show a uh, couple housekeeping things happy birthday Thank you. Holy Appreciate smokes. Yeah, that no. guy. Another year, buddy. We made it. Another year. Um, <laughs> I know you, uh, I was a little jealous. Your uh, family took you out to dinner. Uh, yeah. I know. Where'd you go? I, yeah, we went to Giuseppe's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was fun. It was It was good. My dad, you know, my niece showed up. That's always, oh, nice. that's always good. Yeah. yeah. She, she lives right there. Yeah. Got right off work. She went there. Oh, it was easy, great. easy travels for her. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So that was, it was nice. Very nice. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. What did you get? I had the penne alle olio. Remember, we had that with the, when we had Mastriani's. That oh, brand. Yeah, that was yeah, the rig. Yeah. I think that was a pen, penny as well. Yeah. The garlic and oil. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was good. Was it? Yeah. yeah. What else did the table have? Anything very good? Interesting? Dad had the, spag Dad had the uh, spaghetti alle olio. Yep. Okay. Mom had, she had something with meatballs. She might have had spaghetti. Don't and tell meatballs. me stuffed peppers. No, we <laughs> did not do the stuffed peppers. I know good, I told him, right. I said, that's I mean, Danny's that's, favorite. Yep, Danny that loves means, that. Uh, that means they still yeah. have some for when I come. And uh, my niece had a pasta dish, I believe, right? Um, but no, it's good. It, it was good. Good as always. Yeah. Yeah. Very well, good. happy birthday to you. Thank I you. know we're going to go out and um, break bread Monday night. Yeah. Go uh, have some uh, Mexican and uh, maybe it may be a dessert. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> at the cafe. I don't know. We've been there, I think, twice in the last 10 days. <laughs> um, down at Palace yeah. Station, our fun little... Uh, getaway yeah. there but um yep that was number one and then uh the second thing was just slipped my mind i don't know but we're gonna fast forward to the food we have um uh, <laughs> yeah i know sonic burger we had we, sonic we struck out yeah you know it, it i hadn't had mcdonald's and i probably decades right decades and i was trying to figure out what it tastes like yeah you're right and I said, this tastes like McDonald's. Yep. You said, yes, it does. Yeah, like it does. The, bun, yeah. the bun's the exact the same. The, the pickles, the, mustard. The pickles, the mustard, the ketchup. Yes. The burger, but very salty. Yeah, very right. salty. So, um, uh, I was a little disappointed in a few things. Number one, their quarter pounder. I don't know. There was a lawsuit years ago with yeah. uh, a food company that got sued for their stuff looked like this. And when it came in, <laughs> it was this. And yeah. I think we were just the recipients of that. Oh, that was Is the, the picture on the app is a quarter pounder this big yeah, i mean yeah. the the slices of beef cuz it's a double that was a double it's yeah, two I slices of beef. the slices of one beef in the picture was the size of that sandwich yeah it, it was like that thick the sandwich and again i get it it's sonic i i should have stuck to my guns because their <laughs> foot long uh chili cone Coney dogs, Coney Island Coney dog, dogs. Coney dogs, yeah. Oh, so good. Good, uh, yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're, again, chili. Their chili tater tots, phenomenal. Their chicken sandwiches are good. Their BLTs are great. Yeah. They're on like some really nice toasted bread. And Grilled cheese. I, I don't know. I just kind of, I, I was hoping for more. Yeah. So, underwhelming. 
fries were okay. Fri- fries were, you know, like a six or seven out of ten. Crinkle fries. Crinkle yeah. fries. Not bad. They were cooked pretty yeah. good. Um, uh, some chicken bites. Eh, yeah. Very basic chicken bites. Yeah. Pickle fries, not bad. I like the taste. Pickle I'm, fries are all right. I like the yeah. pickle fries. I think the other than the size of the sandwich, Sonic, we got to figure this out. I'm not happy with Sonic. Yeah, that thing was like that. It was very thin for a double quarter. For a powder. double, that's tough. Um, yeah. But what I want to talk about is, was, and I think let me you ask you this real quick though. Go ahead. Was that better or worse than the uh, farm basket? <laughs> oh, come on! Not even close. <laughs> At, I know. I did. different <laughs> different stratosphere. Uh, yeah. Farm basket, yeah. kudos, big, thick. I mean, big, the piece of sandwich. chicken was yeah. bigger than the whole sandwich yeah. here. Um, and apparently there's three farm baskets three, in town. Marty and Debbie were watching the the, yeah. the last episode, and Marty chimes, ch- chimes in. He tells you, he goes, uh, there's three farm baskets. That's I didn't know. crazy. I saw one I on Decatur. Know. Yeah. Um, there's one on Rainbow. That's crazy. And uh, if it would Marty say the other one's Nellis, maybe? I don't know the Nellis, cross. yeah, because yeah. I looked it up. I, didn't I know actually that. looked it up to see how far it is. It's 19 minutes from here because sometimes yeah. Nellis can be kind of close to the North Las Vegas campus, but I looked it yeah. up to see if it was closer. And it actually says that the West Charleston one is closer than the Nellis one to, to us from here. here. Yeah. So miles. Yeah. Now, granted, you got the little spaghetti bowl and stuff. Yeah, yeah no, farm basket. Yeah. It's not close. Not close. I would say. You know, getting, you know, we always kind of talk the food talk is uh, last week we had, are we going to forget again? We just forgot 10 oh, minutes ago. The, the, that, was, that was Farm Basket last week. No, 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 two weeks ago. Who was the last burger we oh, had? That was the Habit Burger. Habit. Yeah. Right? Habit. Didn't love it. Yeah. Habit was a little bit better than that. Habit was a little bit better yeah, than that. Because yeah. that, like you said, that was just a pound of salt in a burger. <laughs> It was so salty. It was all salt. Um, So that kind of sucks. But again, I should have stuck to my guns because they're BLTs, they're chicken sandwiches, they're, I'm telling you, they're they're chili chili dogs or, I mean, they're just really good and probably very salty too. But um, so yeah, Sonic, we gave it a try. I haven't even gotten to the worst part of the order yet though. So we get French fries. What do you eat with French fries? Ketchup. Usually, right? right? Some people, other things, ranch, whatever, maybe. ketchup, ranch, maybe, whatever. Yeah. Uh, a, a chicken nugget bites. What do you usually uh, get with those? You do ranch, barbecue ranch, sauce. Ranch, barbecue, something. sweet yeah, sauce, sweet something, sour, right? Yeah. I don't know. Pickle fries. You could do a little ranch with that, ranch, too. Who knows, a ranch, right? boom, 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 right? Something. We got nothing. No condiments at all. Nothing. I mean, I, it, and you said that you think now you just got to ask for it. Maybe you got to ask for it. Maybe they charge for it. I don't know. I I might put that to the test. I might go to Sonic yeah. here in a couple of days and, and and ask for it and see if they charge. And maybe you do got to ask for it. I don't know. So but so yeah. Sonic, if you're listening, because you, you got <laughs> you, listen, Sonic, listen, kid, you have potential, all right? But you got to cut the salt back. Um, and everything else was okay. Like I said, the fries were okay. The little nuggy was okay. I had some sweet and sour sauce from uh, from Panda from a while ago, so I used that, and actually was okay. And like I said, the pickle fries were okay. But you got to ask for condiments. You got to ask for ketchup. That's kind of crazy. I don't know, man. It, it is. I'm it sure is. you're right. I guess. That's the only thing I could think of, right? I mean. Yeah. So we struck out. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. It's okay. I'm not hating on uh, Sonic because I do like some of the other things. If I say it again, it'll be the third time. The yeah. real t- <laughs> like, I do like Sonic. Uh, their Route 44 Limeades are unbelievable. I love their drinks. Their their happy hour shakes and floats and all that yeah. stuff is really cheap and affordable. And you know, it's pretty cool driving in the drive through. But that sucked. Um, this is yeah. what it is. Yeah. I mean, you can't hit them all out of the park. No, so uh, now we know that one's gone. Um, so yeah, those are our two things. Um, a couple other like random things before we get deep into yeah. the Celtics. The callers yeah. are going to be on the Celtics too. Looks like JJ Redick was uh, yeah. hire, hired or I think made official it, today. It made official. I mean, that's that was that was their was that that was the first interview, anyways, wasn't it? First one. We, this is the first name we heard yes. from the day that uh, what's his name got fired um, was JJ Redick. Heavy on the JJ Redick. We've yeah. already kind of discussed it on the show, but what now it's official? What is your uh, what do you think? I like that some new blood is getting a chance. You yeah. know how they like to recycle these coaches. I, w- you know, Monty Williams gets fired yesterday too, and I'm thinking, are the Sel- or the Celtics or the Lakers going to interview Monty Williams now? And people right. were kind of talking about that today. Yeah. Um, but I, I like that they went with Reddit. Give him a shot. Give somebody new a shot. Give yeah. Him, you know he knows yeah. the game. Obviously, he was well coached in college. Obviously, Duke. you know how many times have we said Coach K on this show? But um, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So he, you listen. Yeah. 
You don't know. He's a young coach. He could end it, up being phenomenal. Exactly. I think everybody kind of poo poos the situation where LeBron's going to call the shots. They got to yeah. draft Bronny. Like they're not getting younger. AD, yeah. those guys are getting older. Uh, so I think people people are kind of like not feeling the situation more than it's who the coach is, whether it's yeah. JJ Redick or somebody or Sam Cassell or somebody like that, another person who I think deserves a shot. Um, but it's. Uh, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be a circus this year. Oh, it's, if they draft Bronny, and again, it's not a knock on Bronny. No. But if, if that is all happening this year, LA is going to be a circus. Yeah, we've talked about that and said that. I, absolutely it is. Yeah. But yeah. we'll see what happens. You never know. And speaking of Monty Williams, um, how, would you, how would you like this? <laughs> yeah. You're not our coach anymore, but we're going to pay you $65 million. Yeah, well, there you go. On top of... The twenty million that you're getting from Phoenix, from Phoenix, he's right. got eighty five million dollars guaranteed coming to him to not coach, to not coach. Yeah, that's that's uh, well, Detroit. He only gave him one year. You know, sports is win now. Not that he had much to work with over there. You know, they did they did have Cunningham. He's panned out. It seems like, but maybe there was something else going on, right? I mean, after one year, they're a bad team. We know that. You know. Um, could it be. was. It was only after. What was it? It's, he still had five years left on it. So it was a six-year wow. contract. Six years. No, it was. Or was it? Was it a five-year contract? I. I thought uh, he had. He still had four or five years left. That's on a that. lot. But they, they got rid of him after six. one year, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, he's going to get paid. I mean, eighty-five you know, million dollars to sit back and relax. Not bad, huh? And, and his agents get. His agents like this is the <laughs> greatest deal ever, right? And and guaranteed one million percent, he will be a head coach in the NBA yeah, next so year give him, because he. I think he does have what it takes. I think taking over a team like Detroit, who was in the basement yeah. of the basements, is always tough. And always you're tested tough. as a person. You're tested as a coach. And there's not always an easy answer. You can't always get out of the basement right away. And right. Uh, whether he got a fair shake or whether there was more going on, who knows. But um, uh, he will definitely be he, – uh, he's still an up – up and coming yeah. uh, coach who's going to be he'll, gonna, he'll land somewhere he's, he's almost at a hundred million dollars i know right it's crazy he's not even gonna be coaching next year um, and then you got van gundy did you see that i saw that uh, yes. so he was a was it a special assistant to the celtics this yeah. year yeah which i heard but i never really realized and you wonder what he did like what input he had because oh, yeah. brad stevens is a pretty uh, pretty pretty brilliant, I guess I could say that at this point. Uh, but Van Gundy now is over to the Clippers yeah. as Ty Lue's top assistant. Yeah. So it tells me that Van Gundy's probably going to be a head coach in a year or two. Oh, he's, he's a probably, great basketball mind. Oh, he's a phenomenal yeah, basketball mind. Yeah. yeah, can he deal with today's basketball as opposed to the previous days? Maybe he can, maybe he can't. I don't know. I think this is his putting his toe in the water, taking the Clippers uh, head job, head assistant job, yeah. I think is kind of a little test for him. And then you got um, the free agent market opens what tomorrow? Is or? it tomorrow? I'm, I'm not sure. It's coming up that, any honestly, day now. Yeah. I'm going to throw some names. Get your first take. Your first reaction. Yeah. What these guys can get paid if they're worth it. If they should. Uh, if the the current team should pay them what they can. Demar Derozan three years, 130 million. He'll get that. He'll get that. It's actually 129 plus. I but he'll get that. Uh, Paul George four years, 221. I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the Clippers will give him that, but he's going to get paid too. Yeah, the, he's the, still got, the hot take right now is Philly. Uh, yeah, it won't qu he won't yeah. quite get the two twenty one, but he'll get close he's to it. Get paid and go to Philly, which yeah. is dangerous. Dangerous. For the East, well, Eastern Philly can Conference. stay healthy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Philly, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Clay is an interesting one. So it is not a it's a weird one. It's not a max year thing, but it's a twenty three million dollars a year. Do you think they'll stay loyal and pony up a couple years? I. I think so. I don't know what's on their agenda and who they want to go out and get. Yeah. But, but, they yeah. got to make changes. They got to make They're changes. Older. You know, if they don't get anybody, you got to keep Clay, I would imagine, right? You got to have somebody on your yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to save this one for last. Uh, <laughs> Donovan Mitchell, four years, 208. <laughs> you know, the Knicks have always been interested in him. Mm -hmm. You know, and they have their own free agents. Um, I don't know if he'll. I don't know if he'll get that. Cause he let, let me add you this to it. Yeah. Same same number, four years, 208, Jamal Murray. Who's worth it more, Donovan Mitchell or Jamal Murray, to their current team? I think I think right now Jamal Murray's hotter than Mitchell yep. right now. Could I, be. I think, I think in more in demand. Does that make sense? Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, Mitchell, like I said, has been getting hurt lately too. But um, 
if, well, if Cleveland wants to stay competitive, yeah, stay need, with Murray. Yeah, what I are mean, you stay, gonna, with, uh, stay Mitchell. with Mitchell. I mean, yeah. what are you going to do? Go get somebody. He's a he's an output guy. Yeah, he's not a team crusher or killer. You know, he's not labeled that so so much. Right. He's got to win a little bit more. I think he's got to he's got to prove that leadership and maybe win a little bit more. But uh, Jamal Murray obviously already has a championship ring. Um, yeah, yeah. And but the tricky thing with Denver is they did pretty well when he was out too. Um, so Denver, yeah. I don't know. Jamal Murray's a he's he's. He's a tough cover in the NBA. Yeah. Uh, Steph Curry is up for an extension, a one-year extension, $66 million. I think Steph, Steph can name his number at this yeah. point. I yeah. mean, he's... Could you imagine if Golden State didn't... Uh, didn't take him Didn't back. bring him back. Him and Clay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wow. Uh, then we got a Celtic, Derek White, four years, 126. I Good. mean... I'd give it to... You got to keep that team together if oh, you, you can. Don't, you don't even hesitate. Yeah. And then the big dog, the big, big dog. Yeah. Jason Tatum, five years, three hundred and fifteen give it, million dollars. Give it to him. Oh, it's happening. Give it to it's, him. Yeah. It's not even a whether or maybe or what if. Got to keep that team together. If yeah, you can. no, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna uh, do all they can of their stars. Yes, who can they afford to lose and replace with somebody almost as good? On that team, there, got to keep Brown. Got to keep Tatum. Who keep White? Suppose how many years Horford got it? Suppose he goes. I, who I replaces? Know. Who replaces yeah. him? Definitely not Cornette. I think you got to go out and get somebody. Um, if we, and I label Al a star. Al, listen, Al's big time. Al's big Al time. does it all. Yeah, he does. And he, he's a he's a culture guy. He's a locker room yeah. guy. He's a vet. He's a lead by example guy. He's a great. He's a well spoken. He's just it, man. Al is it. Yeah. But he is probably if you're gonna lose somebody and get somebody a little less. Uh, talented or yeah. a little bit less impacted is probably that backup center position, sometimes starting center because of Porzingis. Right. Um, I don't know. I think Porzingis is probably next on the list. I don't. Oh, I think Holiday is an absolute no-brainer. You oh. have to keep him as long as you can. Got to keep Holiday. I was right there in line with you with Porzingis. I he think would be Porzingis next, yes. would be because I believe his value is through the roof right now. Even though he still had an injury bug, it wasn't yeah. as bad this year. Yeah. It was just the timing of his injury. Right. Right? He played a lot of games this year and was very effective. But I think the Celtics kind of proved they could do it without him. Exactly. So I think if you got to lose a superstar, it's it's one of the centers yeah. and go find somebody who's close because they they both get paid pretty good yeah, amount of money. Yeah. Those are yeah. huge ticket guys. Yeah. Uh, you could probably get a lot, a lot of picks, a lot of money. Oh, sure. Um, and and probably a pretty good asset in, yeah. in exchange. Um, Jalen Brown for MVP. Yeah, conference finals and NBA finals. Yeah. Did you get to watch all five games? Not in its entirety because I'm working right, and I, when I come to right. s- come watch the game yep. with you, I'm I'm listening to the first quarter on the radio. Yeah. And by the time I come and meet up, right, it's the second quarter. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I, I watched uh, watched a lot of this one. Um, to what we thought. I mean, you, yeah. we, you said seven, I said six. I'm not surprised it was five. Just yep. they, they were the best team, and they and it was true. They were best team wire to wire. Um, what did I see? They were like the 14th team in NBA history to win 80 games in a season, right? Yep, I might have those stats here. You might have. You know. might have exactly what I have. But uh, you know, what did he win? 10 or 11 in a row at yeah, one time. Right. In his, yeah. They lose to the Heat, beat the Heat, win the rest of the series. Beat the Cavs, lose the Cavs, win the rest of the series, sweep the sweep the Pacers, Pacers. and we know what happened in the finals. Yep. Went up 3-0, yep. lost the game, and then win it. Um, yeah. I think that was their best playoff run in history at sixteen and three. Yes, right? I believe that's so. Yeah. So I got some stats. I'm yeah. I'm, we're gonna hit those next. But is it Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum? Who was the MVP? It's a big question right you know, now. I, I, I mean, I know Jalen Brown was, it, and right. I'm not mad at saying. it. So just so yeah. we get this straight, <laughs> is I like the pick. I would have liked the JT pick. I don't. I I don't know yeah. how you even make that decision. Hey, no, Ready? Could've, it could have gave it Cole, but go ahead. Yep. Points per game. Tatum twenty two point two. Jalen Brown twenty point eight. Rebounds. Tatum seven point eight. Brown five point four. Yeah. Assists. Tatum seven point two. Brown five point zero. Steals, Tatum 1, Brown 1.6. Blocks, 0.6, Field goal percentage, Tatum 39, a little low for him. Yeah. Jalen Brown 44, attack the rim a lot more. (laughs) Free throw percentage, Tatum 92. Yeah, we know where that's going. Jalen Brown 73. So flat up numbers, it's kind of one-sided with JT. But 
I believe that Jalen Brown early in the season had big games, yeah. like dominating games. Yeah. And I think that kind of set the tone for this uh, award. So I think you don't go wrong either way. No. Um, but there's an argument for JT. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jalen Brown – I'm super excited for Jalen Brown because he, sure. didn't, he didn't get all NBA. He's kind oh, of yeah, been a, right. a little bit of the snub throughout his career. Um, but yeah, that's uh I thought maybe after that, after that game that Tatum have had where they clinched it. Yeah. Was big, I thought was he game. was going to, I thought they were going to give it to him. We did for the finals. Did. Right. I, think I mean, did. right. Yeah. It was such but, a dom. He, he played like he should have. He's playing downhill. He's right. getting to the rim. He's, he's hitting dishing. his threes. Yeah. He's not taking too many crazy shots. He's got nine assists at halftime right. or something like yeah. that. Like yeah. He was doing everything he had to do, plus defending a little bit. Right. And, uh, and Jalen Brown was right there with him just a step sure. behind in that final game. So um, so let's get to these five facts about the Celtics. Yes. And what I want to do is put into perspective, right? I get it. I get it, man. I just, uh, yeah, who did they play? Who did they beat? Whatever. You can say that about a lot of teams and a lot of errors, right? Yeah. Who did Jordan beat? Like, yeah. eh, whatever. You can say all that. But when you hear these five facts about the Celtics run, what does it do to your mindset of how good of a team this was in, in yeah, the okay. history of the NBA, right? Here we go. I think I know what you're throwing at me. Number one. Yes. One of only two teams. How, how long has the NBA been around? 70 years? Yeah. 70-year yeah. history of the NBA. Yeah. Only one other team has done this. One. Held a 20-point lead in 50 of their 101 games yeah, this year. Imagine that. They've imagine. held a 20-point lead in just shy of 50% of the games they played this yeah. year. Yeah. The only other team to do that was the unbelievable 2017 Golden State Warriors. Yeah, okay. Two teams in the history of yeah. the NBA game of the NBA. <laughs> I know. To have that percentage, crazy. Of twenty Sick. point lead in in fifty percent of their yeah. games, it's crazy. Number two, Celtics had had fifteen more wins than any other team in the NBA, including regular season playoffs. Yeah, they had fifteen more wins than any other team in the NBA. Yeah. That's a lot, man. Only six teams ever in the history of the NBA yeah. had that margin. Okay, in the history of the NBA. Okay, it's big time, right? Yep. Number three. They are the 14th team ever to win 80 plus games yeah. in a season. Yep. Uh, 0. 0.792 winning percentage. Second best Celtic team of all time. Think of how many, oh, how many of all time. Yeah. It's it's the 86, 87. Uh, we're the only team to have a better uh, win uh, win over 80 percent of the game. Um, a better winning percentage uh, than this team. And think about how many, I mean, it's 18 championships. Oh, yeah, so yeah. only one was better, and that team was pretty freaking good. Yeah. Uh, 14th team ever to win 80-plus games. Wow. That's, uh, yeah, solid. Number four. Celtics outscored their opponent by 10.7 points per game, fifth best in oh. NBA history. That's fifth best. Fifth wow. best. D by double digits, that's fifth, fifth best. best. Yep. I didn't know that. Wow. Yep. So you're plus minus, basically. Your yeah. plus, their plus, was 10.7. Right, yeah. fifth best in NBA history. Wow, that's uh. And now here's the doozy. Yes, this is the one that's crazy. Okay. This is the they're the only team in NBA history to do this. Yep, they had the most fifty point wins in NBA history. They had the most forty point wins in NBA <clears throat> history. They had the most thirty point wins in NBA history, wow. and they had the most twenty five point wins in NBA. Wow, history. see, I didn't know all that. That's uh... <laughs> I mean, it's dominating. Oh, so very I don't want to. I don't want to hear about. Eastern Conference and Jimmy yeah. Butler. I don't want to hear about that. They did this for a whole season. Not a team in the NBA. There's not a team in the history of the NBA that has more 50-point wins. Fifty point There's wins. not a team in the history of the NBA that has more 40-point wins right. or more 30-point wins or more 25-point 25 25 point wins. wins. Yeah. This team has all those records. Wow. That's, you know, that's very impressive. Right, let me, I'll throw out a couple of more at you. Let's here. hear it. Before we yes. start, we'll talk about where we're going to place this team. Yep. Well, first of all, right, they didn't um, they didn't go to a game six in any series. Nope. Right. Game five, as far as all they game five and the sweep against uh, Indiana. Indiana. Right. We have uh, you said by twenty. They were the third team in the last fifty years, right, mm, to win mm. the title. The game that they clinched the title. Yep. To go wire to wire, right in that game. Uh, they never trailed. Never trailed. In the, never trailed in, in that uh, game. They started right? with a yeah. Started with a bucket. Finished. Right. Finished, finished with, with the lead. Bucket. Let me see. We had the 14. Wow. Right? I think we were on the same page with some of this stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Led by 20. Third. 
Yeah, and the third team, right, third team in the last 50 years to win the title in the game, right, never trailed. But in the numbers you, you gave me yep. were, were the numbers that I had here, too. Fifth most point differential in NBA history. Yep, yep. Right, did we say that one? Yeah, fifth best. That's the 10.7 right. 10. 10. points 7, per game. That's 10.7, right. Yep. Fourth most regular season wins in history, right? Yep. We said that. For them, it, it, for them in their history, since even since 2008. Wow. So they, so they yep. got on a roll. Oh, man. I mean, where do you place this team in the history of the Celtics? Where do you place, place them in the history of the NBA? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, listen, I'm not delusional. I, I right. Can they play with the, the best of the best? Possibly, probably not. Are they going to yeah. beat MJ's best team? Are they going to beat Golden State's best team? Are they going to beat the best Lakers team? Are they going to beat the best Celtics team? Probably not, but they have a shot yeah. at all that, especially with a healthy Porzingis. They have a shot. Yeah, sure. Um, and again, you can't compare errors. So, I mean, I don't even want to get too deep in the weeds with that. Whether it's teams or players, it's tough to compare errors. But I'm not delusional. They're not one of the best teams. They're not like, I don't know that they're a top 10 team in the history of the NBA, but they're probably somewhere in that area. Yeah. In that area. Yeah. Like, are they going to beat the Rockets with Akeem? In them and Drexler and are they going to beat Detroit Pistons with Isaiah and 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 you know Rodman and Dumars? Yeah. Are they going to beat um, obviously you know Golden State for quite a run? Are they going to beat How about some of those early Knicks years, Knicks teams with Walt Frazier and, and Willis Reed? Exactly, yeah. But I'm even thinking you know Milwaukee's run. I think they beat Milwaukee. I think they beat Milwaukee. They too. beat Milwaukee. Um, you know. I but yeah, they go wire to wire though. Their yeah. team in fifty years to go wire to wire is yeah, the it's best crazy. team in basketball. Yeah. That is tough to yeah. do. I mean, no, eighty two games. Yeah. yeah, and they go sixteen and three in the playoffs. Yeah, right? no, the know. numbers are staggering. <laughs> the numbers are um, crazy. And I saw I saw it on a uh, on a, a little show this morning. I'm like, oh, I gotta I gotta write these down. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this, folks. There Bear with us. We got to put yeah. our headphones on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which is odd to have these headphones on. This is going to be unique. Since so, the first episode. <laughs> so we're going to, I think, I'm pretty sure this guy's going to answer. And his story is really cool, his connection to this uh, NBA Finals. Um, we're, going to give it a, we're going to give it a try here. Let's see. Oh, boy, this could go terribly good or terribly bad. <laughs> Either way, we'll be all right. Either way, we're going to be all right. Gotta hope he answers. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. All right. Crunch time. Does he know you're calling? He does. I can hear him. Okay. Uh, okay. Coach, can you hear us? You can hear me? All right, so hold on. Dang it, I tried this earlier and it worked. Bear with us, coach. Hmm. Can't hear him. If you can hear me, I'm going to try it back. Hold on. Could you hear him? No. Yeah. I. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> what am I missing? What am I missing? We're, tr we're going... Yeah, we'll get it going here. But, right. uh, Let's see. But yeah, anybody, uh, anybody have suggestions on food for next week? Let us know, and oh, I'll, I got it, and I'll pick it. it up. Yeah, and we'll grade it, Marty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you yep. got for us, Marty? We'd love some. All right, Coach Mike, I we got, I got it figured out. I know what we did wrong. That wasn't so bad. Look at it. we got we're ringing. Coach Savage. Yes, Coach Mike Lee. That's that's him. Welcome to the Doo Doo and Foo Show for the second time. How you doing, Coach? How you guys doing? Sound like you guys are having a good time over there. We are having a good time. So for those yes. of you who don't know, right behind Mikey's head, see where that pennant is on the wall? That's where Coach Lee is on the other side of that wall. <laughs> so when I just couldn't hear you on the phone, I could hear you going, hello, hello, through the walls. Um, but we got to figure it out, little technical difficulties. Um, yeah, you nothing, always. Nothing that you can't handle. Nothing I can't handle. But you can always tell when we have the podcast going because, uh, like you said, we have a good old time. So listen, Coach, 
thanks for taking our call. We want to, uh, we're talking heavy on the Celtics today and, um, want to get your take on, uh, the NBA finals, uh, the Celtics itself, and then share with our, uh, our audience, uh, your connection to the NBA finals. Most definitely. No problem. I, I, I just don't bleed green like you guys, but you know, I bleed the, uh, purple and gold. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. Well, well I'm actually a <laughs> Knicks fan, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Mike League, everybody, the former CSN men's basketball coach when I get done with him. Right, right. Well, I won't steal all your thunder. <laughs> no, you're good. No, seriously, I no, and I'm listen, back in the day when, when the Lakers and Celtics in the eighties would battle, you know, I obviously was living in that Boston area at that time, just south of Boston and I, I, you, you were supposed to hate the Lakers and I didn't because I love Showtime. I love magic. I love the Koopa loops. I love all that stuff. So I can appreciate both. And then we're going to put you to the test. See if you can appreciate the, uh, the green machine, what they did this year. <laughs> well, I may not be too up on that as far as the information, but, uh, I did watch the, uh, finals and, uh, they were impressive. Yep. They did. They did their thing. And uh, share with our audience, and now I'm just, as I'm sitting here thinking some technical stuff, share with our audience um, your connection to the, uh, to the finals and which team. Well, you, you know what team it is. It's the Celtics and uh, uh, the, the player that uh, everyone kind of talks about or maybe forget about at times because uh, he's not utilized that way. He's more or less the facilitator. He gets things done. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe he he's unselfish, and he basically takes care of business when he's out there. But uh, the player I'm talking about is Derek White. Yep. Uh, he's, his journey started out with uh, at uh, University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, the D2 school. Yeah. You know, uh, his journey was uh, – was not like everybody else's and yep. uh, he wasn't polished coming out of high school and really didn't get a whole lot of uh, opportunities or recruitment through other schools from what I understand. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's accurate. I read uh, some, read some articles on that. He's a good yeah, example yeah, for where uh, we come from, right? Is the Juco level is you yes, don't, you yes, know, you got yes. a lot of time to get uh, better. Well, then that's the key. You know, uh, like I said, he was, uh, he was my son's, uh, they were teammates and roommates also, too, during that time that he was at University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. How about that? You know, and uh, I can remember his mom uh, always coming by every so often and dropping off the chocolate chip cookies to the team. <laughs> I love you it. Know? How cool is that? Uh, it, it was, that was one of his things. Uh, he, ate, he ate pretty much uh, a lot of pasta and mm. uh Chocolate chip cookies during that time. <laughs> well, he's got one less tooth to eat with now <laughs> after that game five yeah. floor smack. That's the least of his worries, though, because you can get that fixed these days. Yep, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I actually joke with Julie. I said every dentist in the New England, Boston area probably offered free, oh, free yeah. medical, free dental oh, yeah. <laughs> services. Not that he needs the money, but um, right. yeah, no, he's a – listen, we were just talking before we called over to you is um, – who could you not lose from that Celtics team? And Derek White was, I think, obviously Tatum and yeah. Brown is number one, too. Yeah. But then we went right to the guards, Derek White and Drew Holiday. Those two, are you just can't replace players like that. No, I think they brought on the right chemistry, you know, and uh, Derek came from uh, San Antonio Spurs, you know, with Popovich, you know, which I'm sure he learned some things there, too. And then that branched off and, now he's a Celtic. Uh, he's there for a while. And I, I'm just curious about how are they going to keep the same team? Because usually they disrupt things a lot of times. Right. But who knows? That's just like uh, the Golden State Warriors or any NBA team. They tend to uh, change things up. You know, yeah, so. I, I th they only have two impact players that are that are up for renegotiation. One is Tatum, and clearly they're going to give him the max five year, three hundred and fifteen million dollars. That'll make him the highest paid player in the NBA. There's no way they're getting rid of Tatum. And the the only other player that's in that realm is Derek White, four years, one twenty six, and he's a no brainer at that number. Um, so, will they? He, Porzingis is locked up. Drew Holiday's locked up. Um, Jalen Brown's locked up. They. 
that core is locked up. Al's got one more year. Al Horford. Um, will they do something with like a Pritchard or uh, who's the shooter there? Hauser. Uh, yeah, Hauser. Will they do something with one of those guys? Maybe, but I don't think that the core is, is disrupted at all. I think this is uh, the not the beginning because I think two years ago they were tough, but this could be yeah. the beginning of a nice little run. They have an opportunity yeah. to do something special. Yeah. So I get it, Coach. You're right. Is There's a lot of they, – they mess things up. But I don't think Brad Stevens is built like that, man. No, no. Well, he's a he's a different type of person. Uh, that's really he he coached at one while, so he pretty much kind of knows a little bit about it, the way things kind of operate though now. And like I said, they always tend to disrupt everything. But I I, I believe they'll probably pretty much keep those core guys there, uh, <clears throat> only because uh, Brad Stevenson. Uh, is the uh, the uh, basketball op- in operations uh, yep. so much? Yep. Uh, I just really think that you know, and, and there's there's always things that come out of the blue, you know, and and I've been thinking for years that this is one that probably might catch people off guard, but being that Derek is from uh, the Denver area. Mm. I would think that they would try to reach out to him as well and really surprise at his hometown. Yeah. Well, uh, he only has so much say in it this year because he's restricted. So restricted in the fact that if the Celtics give him the max number, he doesn't, nobody can talk to him. He doesn't have a choice kind of thing, which I think he's okay with now. But when he becomes unrestricted, I think he's going to have a lot of teams that want him. Yeah. You know, right, makes right, you value. Right. I mean, that's why Drew Holiday was so valuable. He came from winning a championship yeah. with Milwaukee. He's been in that locker room before. Exactly. Right. All right, right. coach. So that's here's good. here's what I got for you. Since you're a Lakers fan, before we let you go, I need in no particular order, none, your top five Celtic of all time. Top five Celtics? Yeah. Well, uh, I would say Bird for sure. Okay. Uh, Larry's okay. Mikhail. He's decent. Mikhail. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That's nice. It was hard to stop Mikhail. <sighs> You're not kidding. Uh, man, there's so many guys that I could probably name. Uh, I'm not sure if Parrish fits in that area too or not. You want him in? Bill Top Russell five. For sure. Bill Russell, but okay. Bill Russell for sure. So you got three down. Bird, McHale, Russell. Those are those are some pretty good bets. Two uh, spots left. Uh, I would say from the guard standpoint or forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, it can be any five, coach. Say, uh, excuse me. It can be any five. Don't yeah. have to, don't have to be guards. Uh, yeah. I almost want to put. Uh, Dennis uh Dennis Johnson D- DJ DJ Yes I'm, yeah. I almost want to put him in there. Wow, well, yeah. it's four Hall of Famers right there. It's four Hall of Famers. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, so Who's that last uh, spot? Who's it going to? You got some players. You got your Paul Pierce's, you got your uh you got your Reggie Lewis's, yeah. you got your Jojo oh, yeah. White, you got your uh you oh, wait a minute, you got your Bill Walton's, you got your oh, all the Pete Maravich, Pete there, Maravich, right? Dominique Wilkins. Shaq was there for Shaq. a little bit, yeah. But as pure I think we're doing pure Celtics yeah, no, kind right. of <laughs> So you got a lot of team right that's Ken right there. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's crazy how many people Ken. forget that Shaq and, and Pistol, Pistol Pete, Pete and Dominique Wilkins and, and Walton. Yeah, Bill yeah. Walton. How many of them played for the Celtics at one yeah. point? But uh all right, let's go throw a fifth. Ready, coach? We're ready. Go ahead. No, you it's you. Who you who you filling out your your list with? Who's your fifth Celtic? You got Bird, McHale, Russell, DJ. Well, I'm gonna come out of the blue because he played hard. Yep. Uh I'm gonna say uh uh Kevin Garnett. KG, that's a good go. bet. Yeah, he got a ring. There you go. Yeah, KG. <laughs> five Hall of Famers. <laughs> five Hall of Famers. Yeah, you didn't screw that up. You yeah. did a good job. Um, yeah, very good. Well, listen, Coach, hey, you are our first ever call-in. You are our first ever guest. And uh, if we ever need you, we're just going to bang on the wall. <laughs> hey, that don't sound right. Bang on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Coach, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. And um, better better luck to your Lakers next year. I don't know what to tell you. J.J. Redick at the helm. You're going to have Bronny coming off the bench. Good luck. 
Well, I thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> All right, Coach. We'll talk to you soon. All right. See ya. <laughs> All right. So the technical that. thing that I just figured out is – no, we're good. good. Yep. Yeah, no, that was good. So the that technical thing I figured out is yes. the live folks couldn't hear a thing he was saying. Well, that's what I was gonna. <laughs> that's what I was gonna ask. <laughs> Sorry, but it will be on the replay. It'll right? be on the okay, replay. I was yeah. gonna ask. Yeah, that. I can I connect them after, but uh, now I got to figure out a way to get this live up to that mic, okay. uh, which we'll figure out. But anyway, I can kind of surmise a little bit what he said. Obviously, you could hear from my responses. He's a Laker fan, so we had yeah. to grill him a little bit on that. But uh, Derek White. Who st- was uh, pretty much unrecruited out of high school? Yeah, like no Division One offers, nothing, no, not ranked or anything. Yeah. Went to uh, uh, University of Colorado, uh, Colorado Springs, Springs Division Two program in the RMAC, yeah. and Coach Lee's son was his roommate yeah. there. Yeah, so, that's so cool, yeah, man. and I knew yeah. that a couple months ago. So he's, you know, he's like, hey, if Celtics win, it's Derek White. That's my yeah. my son's yeah. roommate from college. So, and then of course Derek transferred to the University of Colorado. Right. And then, you know, his path from there to San Antonio. But um, And then you guys could hear a little bit uh, his top five Celtics of all time. Not a bad list. Bird, McHale, Bill Russell, DJ, and KG. It's yeah. a solid, solid, Tough solid to list. Tough team to beat right there. <laughs> Let's see. Who do you got? you got? I mean, they're pretty big, but you got DJ at the one. You're going to have to put Bird at the two. You got uh, KG at the three. Yeah, Mikhail at the four and Russell at the five. You know what? The way KG handles the ball, ball he can go two. Might go the two, right? Yeah, KG. Or yeah. you could listen. You could put KG at the five. Put Bill Russell at the four. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? Was, but yeah. it's a good group. Um, so that went okay. I had a possibly another call in if we have time, um, a, a, a quicker one. But um, I think we're gonna save that one. No, you know what? We're gonna do it. Let's okay. see. Let's see if we're gonna go one more. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go one more. <laughs> hey. We're pressing our luck here. Let's see. We got to put the headphones on. At some point, I'm going to have a number you guys can call in, and we can take the calls. That's going to be exciting. And I think we're just testing out the technology of this right now. So we're going to try this guy. Plus, some other things I want to ask him based on our pre-show conversation. Let's see. I say by the fourth ring. He's clearing his throat right now. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. What's up, Savvy? What's up, Savvy? <laughs> hey, Dewante, you are live on the doo doo on? D- on the doo doo and yeah. Foo show. D Tate, what's going down? Oh man, Whoa, listen, doo doo, what's going on? Hey, listen, you you are on the on the first episode this is our 13th episode but our first episode of call-ins call-outs i don't know what the hell you call it i called you so it's kind of not a call-in but a call-out so congratulations you're here um and of course we're celebrating the celtics buddy what do you think of that oh boy oh we might have lost him no we didn't lose him <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about he doesn't want to talk about the celtics <laughs> go on no oh, might have lost him who do you want to talk about then He might not be able to hear us. Oh, no. He can hear us. <laughs> How about if we talk about the Cavs? Is that his team? Hey, in my back? You're yeah, back. there we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I can hear you now. <laughs> Lost uh, service. Oh, did you oh, really? shoot. Okay. I'm serious. Dead serious. Uh, oh, right. I said, what about the and Celtics? The I'm is, like, man, he really doesn't like the Celtics. <laughs> 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 oh man, I think it was beautiful. Yeah, why did they win? What what did, what was their characteristics that made them so dominant this year? From the first uh, first, they led the league. They they were the number one team in the league from the first day to the last day, which doesn't happen very often. Right. What do they do um, well? I would say, uh, they play defense. Obvious. I mean, they play mm-hmm. defense. They were committed to helping each other win. They picked up a great the point guard. I mean, that who would let him go? Who Drew let Holiday. Drew Holiday go? Like know. that is you were so cool solid. to let Drew Holiday go. He works hard. He can hit the open shot. He he cares about winning. He's a winning player. Every team he's on does well because he's just in people's chest. I think poor Zingas was a beautiful pickup. Mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. beautiful pickup. You get yep. some rim protection, you get some shooting and you just get somebody that's hard to guard. Yeah. But yeah. The, but the reason um, what I seen in the playoff loss was Jalen Brown. Oh yeah, yeah, different level. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna guard your best player. Yep. I don't have a problem with that. 
and I'll score on your best player. And pissed off, defender. pissed off that he didn't make uh, All NBA too. Played with a chip on his shoulder. Oh, beautiful! That was that was the best thing they could do. That helped them out a lot. I think. Um, I, yeah, so I, I say defense, man. Defense. They got long, and they got a team that doesn't care about like who who gets the credit. Yeah, honestly, they, they outscored their opponents by ten point seven points per game, which is fifth best in the history of the NBA. Let me let me give you another stat to to to, to wrap around your brain. Celtics had the in the in the history of the NBA. Ready for this? Celtics had the most fifty point wins of any team ever, the most forty point wins of any team ever, the most thirty point wins of any team ever and the most 25 point wins of any team ever in nba history dominating and that's the whole year and this season this season this season oh my goodness i didn't know this yep. oh man crazy why would anybody go against them they had a 20 point lead in 50 of their 101 <laughs> games this <laughs> that year is mind-boggling they had a 20 point oh, lead in goodness. 50 of their 101 games this year only the 2017 uh, Ra Ra Tate Golden State Warriors had a better uh, a better number. They had fifty one. Celtics were one game behind them at fifty. Oh, I mean, when we seen that stat, if we would have known it earlier, we could have known at fifty games. You know, well, you can't tell. Right, us right. Go give me games, one more. But, <laughs> but if you would have known that they were on track to do that, you, you could put it all on them. Yeah, they're bet everything you can on them that they would have won the championship. If yeah. I knew some of these stats, I mean, but their team was beautifully constructed. I mean. They had everything you need. You need a, you need a, so you need a pit bull on your mm -hmm. team to win a championship. Mm -hmm. Every team has a pit bull. You can't name a team that doesn't. Yep. I don't believe you have to have an absolute crazy person, a Rodman or somebody like yep. that. That's Drew Holiday. He's not scared of anybody. I take you on. I don't care. Yep. They also had that in J uh, Jalen Brown. You have to have a big man. He doesn't yeah. have to be a bruiser, but he's got to be able to do some rib checks and a few rebounds and everything like that. You have to have the good sh shooting guard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a decent shooter. All, yep. They do all of it. Yeah, all they, of them do they, all of it. You're right. They do. And, <laughs> yeah. even, and even their bench, when you have Al Horford can step in when Porzingis is hurt and he's just – he's the ultimate pro, can stretch the floor, hit the three, gets a few rebounds, can protect the rim a little bit against the young guns. Well, what yeah, he oh, does yeah. even more than that, Savvy, what he does more than that is that you have to be – you have to watch out for him. Yep. Some players don't need to be so great. They just need to be able to do something. Like, you have to – like, okay, we can't stand – Clay Thompson has declined. He's not that good, but you're yeah. not leaving him open. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you leave him open, he's still going <laughs> to so, take a shot. I mean, yeah. So Draymond Green will get layups when yep. he probably shouldn't, because we have to worry about these guys running around every five seconds. So I think their team, what you needed to win a championship, all of them had the qualities. Yep. Yep. I mean, at least four or five of them on their team have the qualities that you need out of a player. Like you need a good shooter, you need a good defender, yep. <laughs> you need a good point yeah. guard. You had that in all the players. So all of them can bring the ball down the court. All of them play defense. Yeah. So, so, so they only have two players that are up for contact uh, contracts. One is Tatum, five years, three hundred and fifteen million. It'll make him the highest paid player in the NBA. It's obvious the Celtics are not going to let Tatum go, right? So Tatum is being re-signed. The only other person is Derek White, four years for 126. They're not going to let him go. They're going to sign both those guys. They'll pay the luxury tax. They'll do all that. So with that being said, their core is coming back. Do they win it again? Yes. Mm. Mm, early. No, no hesitation. No hesitation. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yes, bet it now. Team to beat right now. Uh, Celtics. I mean, you talked about the yeah. stats. You told me enough. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay losing three hundred dollars right now, saying that they'll win it next year. Oh, big balling! Okay. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> no, I like twenty five bucks in my pocket. I don't feel pocket. like I'm gonna lose. Yeah, yeah no. no, I'm saying I don't feel like I lose because okay. I mean they have everything bet. you need. Now, here's the thing: you could run into injuries. Porzingis, yep. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, when they're long and they're good, mm -hmm. they usually have some injuries. <laughs> you start being a six nine, six ten, six eleven can handle the ball. Yep. you start to be hurt a lot. So yeah, yeah. I think that 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 would be scary. But I mean, honestly. They could have won the championship without Porzingis once 100%. they got in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, especially the way Al was playing. Yeah. Al was playing tough. And, oh, yeah. Um, and, and then they got some weird help from Tillman and, you know, some odd spots from people. So And they played small ball pretty well, which you can yeah. do against Dallas because Dallas yeah. says, other than Lively, right. they're not huge. Right. Right. So, uh, D. Tate. I need your five best Celtics in the history of the, and, uh, the, history of the league. Five best Celtics. Rapid fire. Go. Oh, um. Bird, 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 bird's one. Okay. <laughs> bird. Come on. Uh, Let's hear it. KG. Ooh, I like it. All right. And we're going to match Kevin this up Garnett. against, we're going to match this up against uh, Coach, Coach Lee just gave us his top five. So 
You go okay, ahead. Give me some. Give me some more names in there. Well, no. What do you mean? This is you. You Celtics uh, all no, time. No, I just need to hear some names so I can pop. Uh, Paul uh, Pierce, Antonio Paul, Walker. Paul Pierce. Yeah. No. Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Okay. You got uh, Kevin McHale, Bill Russell, Dennis Johnson. You got uh, John Havlicek, Bob John Cousy. Havlicek. You got yep. Antoine Walker. You got Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Bill you got Kyrie uh, Irving. Uh, you got. Uh, uh, give me a. Oh, go ahead. Keep going. You got well. You want me to blow your mind? I just did this with uh with with Coach Lee. You got uh, yeah. Shaquille O'Neal, Bill Walton, Dominique Wilkins, Pistol Pete Maravich. Bill Walton. You said Bill Walton. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't. You know, you said best Celtics ever. Yep, right. you're right. Yeah. You go. I'm with you. Yeah, they might. They might have been nice on the Celtics, but being the best Celtics ever is so, not. So gotta be, uh, Bird. So you got Bird, KG, Paul Pierce so far. Need two more. Yeah. Not, uh, How did you like Mikel's game? I didn't see much of Mikael. Okay. I didn't, and that's my problem. Mikael, okay. Harris, Bill about. Russell. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Russell. I'm going with Bill Russell. All right. Put him up there. 11 rings. More rings than fingers. Yeah, you got to have Bill Russell in there. And then um, hmm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't, give me Pistol Pete, man. Pistol Pete. He had some good years They're with the Celtics. They're all Hall of Famers. All Hall of Famers. Yeah. Yeah. Pistol Pete. So the only difference that you had from Coach Lee's, you had Pistol Pete and he had Dennis Johnson. Again, probably because he saw him more. Well, D. Tate uh, had um, uh, Paul Pierce, yeah, too. Yeah, because I oh, would have probably Pierce. picked. Oh. Yeah, I would have probably, because I seen these You're guys, right. like I watched them, I watched what they sure. did, and it was kind of like, and I think that's where my, because even with the point guard, I'm saying Pistol, Pistol Pete over, what, Rondo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ray was Allen. a heck of a player for yeah. the Celtics, but do you really put him on there? He's been on 100 teams. I mean, that's not the greatest Celtic ever. Yeah. Who's who is that the uh, one? I guess Pistol Pete is the same uh, boat, huh? Who is who is that? Before you said Pistol Pete, Rondo. Oh, Rondo played on a bunch of teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like Rondo at the Celtics. All yeah. right, so I got both of you on the line. We're going to finish off the, the the show with this. Is uh ten hardest? Uh, the, sorry, the five hardest sports to play, based on ESPN polling. I'm going to let Mikey. Take the first stab at it. Five hardest. Five hardest sports to play. Rugby. Rugby is not in there. Go really? on. You're up. Golf. Golf is not on there. Mike, you're up. Tennis. Tennis is not on there. Go on. You're up. You guys are over three. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Basketball. Basketball is number four. Really hard to play. Okay. Yeah. Football. Football is number three. So we got three and we got four. We're on a roll. We got two in a row. Go on. You're up. Uh, oh man, uh, I don't, I don't know. What's Hardest hard, sports. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know, bro. You, were you going to say volleyball? <laughs> Did you almost just say volleyball? Uh, yeah, I, I thought about it. I mean, you said, we said, I thought, I thought football and basketball would yep. be a lot of, I thought golf was harder than football yeah. and basketball to me. Yeah. I guess well, I but but if you else. think about it, yeah. like you could go out to, there's a pro at every course, right? There's yeah. a, a golf pro that's right around a, a you, you know. Can, yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? You. Golf? Boxing. Boxing is number one. Really? Okay. Makes yeah. Sense. You can't just, you got to be elite. To beat yeah, a pro you're boxer, because you're gonna die. Like, yeah, you're gonna you die. Just, yeah. So <laughs> right, boxing one, football three, basketball four. Mike, you got two and five left. Soccer. Five's a little tricky. Soccer. Soccer's not on there. Nope. We got one major sport left, Duan, and we got one not so major sport. Um, yeah, it's me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Baseball. Nope. How about lacrosse. Lacrosse. Nope. All right. You each get one more guess. Dewan, you're up. Yeah, I hear it. I'm, uh, <laughs> you're out of sports. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of sports. I don't. I don't know. Does, well, do what, they play anything else? One of them is still the top four of the major sports. Dewan. Yeah. We already said baseball, football, basketball. What's the fourth major sport in America? North America. Playing right now. Stanley Cup. <laughs> Las Vegas Golden Knights. <laughs> Uh, hockey. Hockey. Hockey is number two. Number two, yep. Per ESPN. And I'll give you the fifth Dang, one. I'll give you one last guess. Bowling. It's wrestling. It's wrestling, okay. Not WWF uh, wrestling. Right, right. Wrestling, wrestling. like wrestling, wrestling. Uh, wow, interesting. Okay. That's per good. ESPN, not per me. I, mean, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't come up with that list. Dewan, how cool is that? You're, you're a, a call-in. We might, we might call on you regularly once we get this all set up and straightened away, but... Um, glad you're bleeding a little bit of green for uh, the Savage household. You know we were rocking it, 
and uh, we're going to catch up with you. Yes, sir. All right, bud. That's the one Tate, everybody. Right, Tate. All right, man. I, this was beautiful. Thank you so much. See you, yeah, bud. All right, day. see you. All right, yes, buddy. Sir, All right. There it is. How about that? We, got, we had some call-ins today. And. Yeah, that was good. About 10 minutes over. Still hear us? Yeah, <laughs> still hear us? I hope we're still filming. That guy um, be on, both needs to be unplugged, plugged in, no, I plugged out. Good. Yeah, we're plugged in, we're plugged out. I don't know. We're all good. Good stuff there. Uh, kind of cool to have call-ins, and now we can kind of see how that works. Um, yeah, three. Th so they had Bird, KG, and Bill Russell, and then Pistol Pete and Paul Pierce. Pierce yeah. Is, you know, yeah. Pierce is a big-time Celtic man. Yeah, he, yeah. Broke, he has a lot of a lot of records under his belt. And, yeah. uh, of course, Coach got to see Mikhail and DJ play a little bit more. Sure, but, uh, sure. yeah, good stuff, man. Not bad. What do we got? Next week we're going to go Wednesday because you're heading yeah, on vacation Wednesday, again. Yeah, I'm heading out to Nebraska on Thursday morning. I'm going to throw something up on uh, Facebook to see if we can get a food recommendation because – Farm basket knocked it out of the park, but man, we've we've had more strikeouts than we had uh, <laughs> than we've had home runs, triples or doubles yeah. or even singles. So yeah. um, we're gonna need we're gonna need the Vegas community to uh, give us some food some food some suggestions. Uh, suggestions. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, well, thanks for tuning in. Yes, thank you. Um, we're next, hopefully next show. I'm gonna have a a wire from here to there so people can hear the call in. But I, we're gonna go back and listen to this and see how it all went and how it shook out and. Um, and that's that. So thanks for tuning in to the Doodoo and Foo show. We'll uh we'll see you next time. Thank you guys. Take care.